the result of revolutions without VIPs. Talk to me about this one. Absolutely. So I will give one example to uh, simplify the matter. So uh, when initially in 1994, our, our elders concluded that if we can get political freedom, uh, we would then, uh, the revolution would have been completed. Then uh, the next generation came and said, no, we need land. And so um, people now believe that, okay, we've concluded the, the, the conversation, but it is not complete. And I'm, I'm going to show that, that those things such as political uh, uh, emancipation and education and getting education and getting economic uh, emancipation, things like that. Those are only fruits. They are not the root of the matter. So an example, if we go into the famous one currently, would be the one regarding land. So when you go to a group of a population of people, so for example, as, as black people, we uh, growing up a Kasi, we were given this doctrine of glorifying kasi life with pume kasi, you know, and and then uh, someone that comes from the village is like ah, you look down on them and hey pume makaya lo, <laughs> pume maplazi, and that would be the derogatory. And I learned that in Tanzania the word is mshamba, mshamba. The word sham, shamba is basically farm, you know, so. You are saying someone who comes from a farm or a makaya where you actually own the land, uh, you speak down on it. Yet, ikasi. Ah, yet ikasi, the word kasi or, or the design of ikasi comes from the American projects. In the United States, they call them science projects. And that reflects to the saying that crabs uh, in a barrel they they pull each other down and we've that has been likened to us as african people but then someone mentioned that crabs don't actually live in a barrel it's not their natural habitat so ikas is not our natural habitat because there's no kasi that or, or or ghetto anywhere in the world where which was designed by african people it is a science project because it's like a laboratory where animals are put in or like a zoo or you put animals within a certain environment and you watch their behavior. Hence, it was called a science project. And, we're, and there's enough evidence to show that when you take African people away from their natural habitat and you put them in, a, in projects, in classes and things like that, their behavior changes completely. The consciousness of a person, a makaya and the ones a kasi are completely different. The values are completely different. Uh, the ones who, are, who, who grow up around uh, kasi, which was designed by uh, uh, outsiders, they tend to inherit the values of those outsiders. Hence, they look down on this land thing. So if you speak to them about land, it, it, the first imagination they think of is, oh, land, okay, yeah, uh, give me something in close proximity to the white establishment. So if you give me land in Senten, yeah, now you're talking. But if you give me land in Guiani, ah, what are you, to, you know? So this is a, a this is rooted in the VIP. So now when you now start preaching land prior to laying the foundation of the VIPs, you end up with the situation where uh, you will not when you give people land away from the proximity of where they want to be close to in terms of uh, the the establishment, then they will not value it and those people that you're trying to get the land from will buy it back from you uh, at absolutely nothing or give you 50,000 rand. There's been many situations where with the, uh, the current government's land reform where uh, they bought back the land after being paid millions and they came and gave the guy 50,000 rand and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Let's remind everybody uh, what VIPs in this context means because it's totally not very important person. Absolutely. Uh, VIPs are the values, the interests, and the principles. And in essence, that is what defines culture 
it is not culture is not how you dress it is not music it is not food any of those things that we call culture today lobola is not culture or any of those things those are uh, uh, fruits of culture those are how you trans translate your values interests and principles because those can change depending on your environment super stuff yeah. mr mosori we appreciate you that you are the bringer of enlightenment Aye, thank oh, you thank you oh, yes <laughs> and, and, to so much, a, and to, and to give it and to give a, a, a quick bonus regarding uh settlements of Akaya. there's a book by a, um, a mathematician, uh, Dr. Ron English is a white man, who has actually uh, done a thorough study to show that um, uh, the settlements are Makaya in terms of architecture, in terms of w- when you study them from an aerial uh, point of view, they are the foundation of what you call fractals today. Fractals are the found the mother of ai when you speak of ai uh, artificial intelligence the foundation comes from uh, these patterns that you find in these african fractals and the guy was quite surprised when he saw these so he went in deeper so the the mud huts that we look down upon they are sophisticated architecture way beyond our comprehension so and if wow. someone is is into information technology programming uh i would really recommend that book is called african fractals um by dr ron english i did a summary of a bit of one of the aspects which is binary codes which also comes from our culture which or one of the the customs from our culture that we look down upon is binary codes yeah so anyone that's listening that uh, has done information technology would be quite familiar with the language so we are what's yeah. the name of, of, of the of the book again it's called african fractals by uh ron yeah by ron english so these give you the the, the foundation of computer science technology actually started in Makaya <laughs> in africa <laughs> wow absolutely wow my brother uh i'm only stopping the conversation because this is radio and time is critical so we appreciate you we're going to podcast this conversation so that anyone who joins us too late can be able to also catch up with us uh, check out our social media at rise fm 943 will be able to share that also at premium beats sa i will share on my pages as well twitter facebook and uh instagram thank you so much for the students again next week it's my pleasure Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.